Get loopy. Why don't they get it? Hmm? What? Why don't we get it? It's pretty straightforward. It's not difficult. Look, look, look. This, this is how we do things around here. We take some valuable resources, we cut down, trawl up, extract, refine, prepare, and throw away. We waste enormous amounts of stuff in the process. Ah. Then we take it to the factory. Make it into something tasty and appealing. Sell it hard. Pack it up. Ship it to the consumer. Oh, oh, very useful. Oh, it's really cool. Oh, thanks very much. Have you seen my new, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Consumer throws it away because there's a new model and an upgrade that does a tiny little bit more than the old one did. You see, this is the way the world works. Can you believe it? Take, make and dispose, which is OK if you have an empty world and lots of resources and especially lots of energy to make it zip along. But if it's a full world, tell me how it's going to work other than that someone gets mean. Oi, get off. And hey, what's our oil doing under your sand? And what's the water for our fields doing watering your golf course? Do you see what I mean? So that's how our world works, the human world. Take make and dispose. It's a, uh, it's a straight line. But nature is so much more, um, it's so much more um, uh, loopy. That's it. Nature is loopy. Now, take the forest here. Been around for thousands of years. You just add in some sunlight, a bit of water and the plants grow and the plants get eaten by the um, rabbits then the fox tries to get the rabbit hide Mr Rabbit oh dear too late oh well never mind because the flies lay eggs and then the maggots eat the rabbit. Marvellous. It's happening all the time. Look at this rat. Marvellous. Ah, and now it's eaten up. The rabbit bones feed the trees. All the while the soil gets better. See, it's not a straight line. It's a loop. It's loopy. Waste creates food, death creates life. It's a beautiful loop powered by sunshine and water. And it just keeps on looping, on and on, round and round and round. It's exhausting, isn't it? Now, humans. Humans are different. Do parrots use armchairs? Do polar bears ride bicycles? Do ants have computers? Do they? Just look at this laptop. Oh. 
It's been in here all week. It still hasn't decomposed. I could leave it here for a year or ten and it wouldn't decompose. What a disaster. It's rubbish. Thousands of different sorts of rubbish too and nothing eats it. Most of it is toxic. It's not food. It's poison. It's just bad design and sending it to be recycled really wouldn't make any difference. It'll end up being downcycled rather than recycled, made into poorer quality stuff. I mean, just think about it. What eats this? Hmm? I mean, this really should be food for something else. Industrial food. It has to get loopy. Get loopy. The people who made this laptop should want it back. Use the old bits to make a new one. But no, out it goes. Think of how many times you've done that in your life. Stuffed your mobile phone, your computer, your printer, in the back of a cupboard, chucked it out for the bin men, taken it down the tip, left it on someone else's landing with a note. Thank you. Now, madam, sir, this fridge. Lovely piece of kit, isn't it? You'd be proud to have it in your home. But why? Do you need to own it? I mean, you want chilled food, cold beer, milk that doesn't go off. But if you want to sail to Spain, do you buy a ship? Do you really need to own the fridge? Get loopy. The people who make things should take them back. All our stuff, all our valuable, complex, wonderful stuff goes back to the manufacturer. When it's no good to us anymore, I mean, manufacturers make the money, so they take the responsibility. Thank you. See, the consumer is the user, but the maker is the guardian of stuff. Ah, that's it. Yes, come back to daddy, my babies. Yes, oh, here we are. Here they all are on the way back. So good to see you all again. Stay loopy. Get loopy! It's a revolution. We're going to go from lines to loops, from the beginning to the beginning, from cradle to cradle. Forget about the production line. We need a production loop. Oh, and uh, stay away from this. And to make sure that going faster or flying higher or living longer doesn't screw the whole thing up, we need to learn a few lessons from the only sustainable system we know, life. So, use sunshine as much as possible. There's, there's lots and lots to spare. Use the wind. Use the waves. Design lots of stuff to join the biological cycle where waste equals food, where dying becomes living. Get loopy. Mm, that, 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 Do you see what I mean? Everything must flow, and the same is true of all our precious technical stuff. We don't throw things away anymore. I mean, where is away? Where, when you throw things away? There's no such place as away. It's here. Do you want to live on a planet full of rubbish? We've got to start thinking differently. We only want two types of stuff. Stuff designed to be part of the biological cycle or stuff designed to be part of a different technical cycle that goes from manufacturer to user and from user back to the manufacturer. Recycled, not downcycled. All this stuff has got to be quality food for something else. Oh. 
over under to the factory. Ooh. Oh, lovely. Mr. Mm. Mm. Humongous here. In you go, my beauty. In you go. Lovely. Out you come, my beauty. Out you come. Ah, brand new, brand new. Beep, 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 beep. If we do it right, we can live with the planet rather than live off it. Thoughtful, considerate, imaginative, technological human beings taking our proper place in nature. Get loopy. Oh, um, any questions? Get loopy.